Hello everyone, I am Stephanie from William B. Harlan Memorial Library and today I'm going to show everyone how to make one of these cool wooden picture collages. Just a few simple items. I'm going to tell you right now what you'll need. You will need one of these wooden plaques. I got this from the Dollar Tree. They come in two or three different sizes and you can paint this too before you get started. You can stain it or just paint it whatever color you want, but just make sure it is dry first before you use it. Next, you will need a pair of scissors, a good pair of scissors, a paintbrush, some Mod Podge glue, and your pictures. Now, these pictures, I've just taken printed off of a printer. Of course, I made mine in black and white. You can do color if you want to, but I think the black and white gives your uh, collage a, a vintage look. And of course, you can set your settings to any size that you want. And it is, it's fun to do the small pictures as well as the big pictures. So, and I do, I like making copies of the pictures and that way you can cut them and do whatever you want with your collage. And you could use real pictures if you want, but now it's just simpler and you're not ruining your picture when you just make copies. And then that way, if you do mess up, you can just make another copy and start over. So to get started, I'm gonna take my plaque and just lay it down flat. And then I'm just gonna put some of my pictures on here and just kind of rearrange them to see what I'd like to do. Because you do wanna to try to cover your whole plaque but then again, if you do paint it and stuff, then that way you won't have to necessarily worry about it. But I'm just gonna see what all I need to do to cover it. And you can just lap pictures over one another. It's just something fun to do. And just however you wanna do it. And some of these, of course, I need to separate where I've printed them out. Just kind of get an idea of what I want. And this is the challenging part about doing the collage. It's trying to sort your pictures out. But it's so much fun. And of course your picture's so neat after you get it done. Just kind of look and see what you want to do. I want to try to cover mine up. Now, that kind of gives me a little idea. I don't think I'll get my ends, but I'll be very close to it. And then you can also go through, I did add some um, flowers to mine, which with mine, my top picture did go over the edge a little bit. So that's why I kind of added the, app, uh, the flowers too, to kind of brace that top picture a little bit because it's kind of, it went over just a little bit but but sometimes that happens you just kind of sort your pictures and see if something don't work just move it around I want to put that in here just start cutting around Okay, I like this center piece. Well, I'm going to go ahead and glue it on. I'm just going to take the Mod Podge glue, dip my brush in it, and just start painting the back of the picture. Just put it on there in the center. And see, even with this, I can add pictures here in the center, just wherever I wanna put them. 
I'm gonna cut this one out. And you can get those neat scissors with that can make the shapes for your pictures too, like the scrapbooking type scissors. Those are neat to use. picture right in there. See? There you go. And then I'm just going to keep adding pictures. You do it. It is. It's kind of like you're doing a little puzzle too to try to Put your pictures where you want them. That's another fun thing about this. And it's okay to get uh, paint on top of the picture because that's one another step I'm gonna have to show you all. Put that right there, the edge. To add this one. this one is with my pets the other one I did with my family members and you can do whatever pictures you want have to make these perfectly square either as a matter of fact I may round this one off just a little bit on the edge there cut it off just a little bit more just like this I'm still working on it just like I said, just like a puzzle. See? Keep building on it. Just keep building. I've got a few more pictures I want to add. And I have to cut it off just a little bit more. just to show you what else you can do. There we go. Now, 
course, I've still got some more space to fill in, but you can add stickers, any other decorations that you want. But when you get what pictures you want on here, you just take your glue and just start brushing some Mod Podge over the top. This will help seal your collage. And then once it dries, you will just cut with your scissors around the edges. And you can use an X-Acto knife too, but just gently cut off the edges. And then just go around the edges too with your Mod Podge. It's better to try to cut from the back so you can get those ends off good. And just go over it again with your glue, the edges. And then just let it dry. Like I said, you can fill the whole plaque. Or you could just leave it like this and add some more decorations. It's just however you want to do it. And, of course, when it dries, you will have um, your collage just like this. Now, I've got something else very exciting to show you. You don't necessarily have to use these plaques. You can also use letters. Look how cool this is. I made these for Christmas a few years ago. I made one for my mother and one for my grandmother. And of course, with mine, I've got pictures of my family and then my pets. With my mother, I put her kids and grandkids and then my grandmother, pictures of her children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren on hers. And it was one of the best Christmas presents I had ever given them. Now, I got this idea, too, from a family member. She had fixed some for Christmas, and I thought they were very cool. So I made some for family members the next Christmas. So it's just a very cool idea. Now, this one is very challenging to do, but so much fun. And I did this one just how I like I did these. So once you practice on these, you can advance up to one of these big letters. So very cool, very fun. And then of course, some work that you're very proud of after you get finished. But thank you all for listening. I hope you all get to make one and be safe.